Hi, and welcome to House Blend on SCV TV, where mostly Santa Clarita Valley musicians of all kinds come to play their original material. You and I get to know them a little bit better when they join us for conversation. I'm Stephen K. Peoples, your House Blend host. Thanks for dropping in. In a few minutes, we'll get together with Katie Moffat, whose heartfelt way with a song has won acclaim and fans around the U.S. and Europe, and she lives right here in the SCV. First, though, we're going to get together with a local writer, guitarist, and vocalist who calls himself a contemporary folk singer. His first solo album is titled Walk Till Morning. Here's Tom Renault, and we're very happy to have him with us. Thank you. Welcome to House Blend. Thank you. Well, so locals may recognize you from some of the uh, venues you played around town. Can mm -hmm. you give us a quick rundown of, of uh, places you play in Santa Clarita? In Santa Clarita, um, let's see, it's a grind coffee house. I've played a few times there. Yeah. Played on the uh, Art Walk a few times at uh, on We've the, seen you there, on yeah. Main Street a few times there. Um, other than that, just a couple of open mics here and there. There's, a, there's an open mic over at the Church of the Nazarene, open mic, and I've played there. I hope to play there more in the future. And then I also do um, just acoustic guitar music, solos, acoustic, you know, just, just um, instrumental music, and I've played at a few restaurants around town doing that. Well, just that's... sit in the corner and play my instrumentals. Well, so. that's good. I, I, I hope like people pay attention and they don't talk over you all the time. Well, you're supposed to be providing background music for that, so yeah. it's all right. Okay. Now, you have a really interesting backstory, but uh, let's start off with uh, where you're from originally and how you got started writing and, and uh, playing. I'm from New England originally. I lived in uh, Massachusetts and Connecticut. That's where I grew up. And I had friends who we just played the guitar back in the, in the 60s and just uh, progressively fell more in love with folk music, you know, listened to just about everything, rock and roll and, and um, the, whole, the whole gamut early on. And then over time just found myself more and more drawn to uh, the folk tradition. Um, so what I try to do now is write contemporary music that, that also draws on that tradition stylistically and in, in terms of my themes as well. Right. So I've been playing the guitar for 40 years now. Whoa. So. How did you come to be a monk in 1980? Yeah, um, Gotta I hear this story. <laughs> I was uh, I always thought about a religious vocation. I was drawn to that uh, for many many years, and um, I hunted around and thought about various kinds, various forms of priesthood. Nothing seemed to really fit my life and what I wanted to do, um, or how I wanted to live. And then I discovered this very unique community. It was a, it was a new community it started in the '60s, actually, a community of men and women, but also drawing on ancient traditions of monastic life. And originally I was drawn to the people themselves, very adventurous, creative young people, lived in wilderness areas, um, and I loved that. I loved that, that contact with nature. And they were trying to cultivate us um, a renewal of spirituality in our present culture. And so I was very, very interested. A lot of contact with people through being a retreat center as well, so it wasn't like a completely isolated right. mon monastery, which I wasn't interested in. So step by step, I just was drawn to this. And uh, finally, I, I, had a teach I got a teaching credential. I, I had been in the middle of that whole process when I discovered this community and finally just made this radical decision to go and try this out and it turned into uh, um, the next 25 years of my life basically. Wow. I stayed there. Yeah. One of the uh, places you lived was Nova Scotia yes. up in Canada and, and yeah. that's where you did your first recordings. You hooked up with a, a folk duo in Nova Scotia. Yes. Uh, tell us about that project yeah. and what happened to it. That was a wonderful project. Uh, the folk duo is uh, Evans and Doherty and they're well known in the, um, in the Maritimes. And they um, got interested in us through, a, um, through something else we were doing at the time. And they came out to our monastery. Uh, we were seven miles, we, we, this monastery we no longer, the community no longer has. Um, we got surrounded by logging, we had to leave. But at that time, um, we were living seven miles out on a dirt road. They brought all their equipment out to us and recorded the, the album in, um, in the monastery, in the library of the monastery, then took it all back to Halifax and added these extra tracks. And it was really a wonderful experience. We got, um, I got national uh, airplay on um, CBC Radio, had in fact a couple of TV spots. I was laughing with my wife this morning. The last time I was actually on TV was in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and I had a full monk's habit on. Wow. And I was on CBC, CBC program in, uh, in Halifax. So. All right, well, Very here on House Blend, the first, uh, <laughs> first song you're going to be playing for us was a finalist in the 2007 Great American Song Contest, it was, right? Yes. Was that something you, that you'd written while you were? Uh, in the monastic life, or was it uh, from later? It was in a transition period. I was still a monk, but I was, um, for many reasons, beginning to think about um, another, m moving, moving to a new phase of life. Uh, there were a lot of things that had happened, and I was, I was in a process of transition. And I took a seven-day retreat on which I wrote many songs. I, I was in upstate New York, and this was one of the first songs I wrote. Well, um, 
Fantastic. Yeah, ripened fields of corn, describing going up there and the landscape mirroring what was going on in my life and uh, this, this sense of transition and hoping for something new for the future. Wow, let's hear it. Okay, on House Blend Live, it's Tom Renault with Ripened Fields of Corn. New York's Highway 22 Travels up through hills and farmers' fields Burgeoning with rows of corn Heavy with the harvest they will yield And I am driving northward on a hot and humid day Wondering what lies ahead along my spirit's way. May the future hold a pledge of life reborn like these ripened fields of corn. Storm clouds have been gathering, drifting in from distant troubled shores. Laden with the rainfall, lightning that will flash through heaven's floor. I feel the weight of water in pent up cloudy walls, waiting for the moment the rain will break and fall. May the future. Hold a pledge of life reborn Like these ripened fields of corn Drought can leave a fertile field, a patch of blowing dust. Praying for a change in wind and trying to live on trust. Now I have felt a fallow field stretch across the landscape of my soul. I have waited for the rain, longed to hear the distant thunders roll. May the future hold a pledge of life reborn like these ripened fields of corn. May the future Hold a pledge of life reborn Like these ripened fields of corn Tom Renault on House Blend with Ripened Fields of Corn and was a finalist in the 2007 Great American Song Contest. It's also one of the tunes on his first solo album, Walk Till Morning. I'm Stephen K. Peoples, your house blend here on SCV TV, and we're back with Tom in the studio. Now, Tom, you got married in 2008. You gained a stepson mm -hmm. in the deal. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. And, and, well, let's rewind a bit. You left sure. the monastic life in yes. 2005, and what was behind that decision? Uh, the community, actually, uh, to be honest, the founder of the community uh, was, is still alive. Um, it was, as I said, a new community. It turned out that the founder was not who we thought he was in, in many ways, and that sent just reverberations to the whole community. There was a long process of soul searching on everybody's part who was, who was there. Um, the founder left, um, and uh, 
So everybody started to just look at the leadership, everything, and all this, and questioning, um, each of us, I think, questioning, where do we go from here? So I took, uh, I was, I felt led, I felt um, the next step for me was to take a leave of absence from, from the monastic life. So I came to California at that point, and because I had my teaching credential, I was able to just pick up and, and teach again. Right, right. I teach right. special education. And so I took a year's leave of absence, and in the course of that, I decided um, it, that I would not return to the monastery. Okay, and then California, you uh, were, uh, were here and, and met your wife, future yes. wife here? Yes, uh-huh. Uh, she was a teacher uh, at the same school as me, and uh, so we get to know each other uh, and as friends. And then, uh, and then I just discovered she was one of the most amazing and wonderful people I ever met, which I would hope a husband would say about his wife. But she truly, I've met um, thousands of people, and she just struck me as an extraordinary woman. So I felt very, very blessed. And. Uh, uh, my stepson, Evan, who's now 10 years old, is, is a, just a fantastic, delightful, wonderful child. So I, I feel extraordinary, great, extraordinarily grateful to have both of them in my life now. Your new album, uh, Walk Till Morning, yeah. we're, we're going to hear one more song from it. Yes, uh, song, one of the songs, I probably have almost a whole album now about my wife. And this is one of the songs I wrote, it's called Finally Found. Finally Found. Finally Found, yes. All right, yeah. on uh, House Blend. We're going to hear Tom Renault with Finally Found. Finally standing on fertile ground, finally planting, finally found, finally learning my own heart's sound, finally listening, finally found. Finally breathing air above ground Finally moving, finally found Finally knowing I will not drown Finally feeling, finally found Finally found Finally found There's a love that wraps around me A hope that won't go down A long lost light of freedom Finally found Finally living, finally found but Then in a minute everything's new I never planned on the wonder Of you Finally found Finally found There's a love that wraps around me A hope that won't go down A long lost light of freedom Finally found Finally found Finally found There's a love that wraps around me A hope that won't go down A long lost light of freedom Finally found Santa Clarita Valley's Tom Renault on House Blend with Finally Found. It's from his first solo album out now. It's called Walk Till Morning. I'm Stephen K. Peoples, and we'll be back with Katie Moffat on SCV TV's House Blend right after this short break. Slips under the cover, reaching for her new friend. First touch in the morning. 